I'll talk about about insecurity. How does one deal with insecurity? Life is insecure. There is no security about life. Because let's reveal something. However young and healthy you're gonna die one day. I bless you with long life, but you will die one day. Is it okay? No? So you can die joyfully or you could die crying. It's up to you. But anyway, you will die one day. Yes or no? If you say, I don't want to die, today you start the chanting, I don't want to die, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. All that will happen that you will not live, you will die. The fear, I don't want to die, will make you not live. But it will not make you not die. Anyway, you will die. Coming to terms with mortality is one very important thing. If you don't come to terms with mortality, you're living in a fancy world of unreal world, not in the real world. The real world is, we come and go. So many countless number of people and come and gone before us, isn't it? You are in an institution from 1857. I'm just wondering how they, how they started an institution in that year, because in that year there was such turmoil. A lot of things has been happening. First World War, Second World War, and plague. All those things has been happening. The soil you have been walking upon. You don't know how many people have been buried. Yes or no? All these countless people, number of people who walked this planet before. Where are they? They are our topsoil. Yes or no? This will also become topsoil one day unless your friends choose to bury you real deep. Fearing you may raise from the dead. There have been certain instances. This happened. There is an old couple in Texas, over 75 years of age. It was their dream to go to the Holy Land for the Jerusalem. But because of business and this and that, children, children growing up, going to the university and their marriage, and da da da, they never made it. When they were 75 years of age, they made the trip to the Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a place where every couple don't read of history. So they walked that pathway where Jesus is supposed to have walked. They went to that place where he is supposed to have walked on the water and many things like this. They were overwhelmed by this whole experience and unfortunately the lady had a heart attack and she died. Then the man was preparing to take her body back to Texas. But then the local people approached and said, see, Jerusalem is the holy land. This is the right place to die. She has done the right thing. So let's do all the rituals here and bury her here. And it just cost you $25,000. Because if you take her back to Texas, just the transportation cost $18,000. And the local charges, and then in America the cemetery charges are very happy. All those put together, you must gonna spend more money. So now she has chosen to die in the Holy Land. This is where she should be buried. Let's do it here. The man said, "No, I I want to take my wife to Texas." Then the people said, "We can understand. You are very distressed because your wife's dead. You are never able to think straight. We can understand. So we will." give you a super discount fifteen thousand dollars we had it in place let's do it the man thought about it and said no i will take her back to texas then they said see it doesn't make sense i can see you are very distressed you lost your wife of 45 years also obviously you are very very distressed you are not thinking straight at all we can understand this just because of that and you are an american and from texas and we're gonna give you an absolute super super discount ten thousand dollars let's do it come on let's do it let's do it you must if you want to understand what i'm talking about you must go to kashi and then you'll see how these things happens the man thought about it no i'm taking her back to texas and that was that they ended up asking why what's the problem with your ten thousand dollars is cheap super cheap let's do it he said see in texas dead stay dead <laughs> i 
I hope you got the point. So, if you come to terms with your mortality, security, insecurity, all these things will go. You are living on a daily basis as if you are forever. The fundamental awareness that this is mortal, this is here only for a limited amount of time. If this was a normal conscious thing for you, you would put your life to best use, for sure. And if you come to terms with that one thing, there would be no insecurity because there is nothing to gain, nothing to lose in this life. You came with nothing. Whatever the hell is happening here, you are on the profit side. Yes or no? Isn't it so? Did you come with investment? No. You came with nothing. So whatever the hell is happening, you are always in the profit side, isn't it? And anyway, they don't allow you to take a container in the end. So all you have is how profound, intense and beautiful your experience of life. So don't make too much fuss about it. You are acting as if you are going to lose something. No, there is nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Because you come and you go. You may think, oh my life, my life. No, you see your life on this planet is a pop-up on a computer screen. On a computer screen, you have seen those pop-ups. Those pop-ups comes. In the meantime, will you rise and shine? That's the question, alright? So anyway you shine, sometimes you may be seen by people, sometimes you may not be seen by people. The importance is, you are shining within yourself. That's all that matters. If people have eyes, they will see it. If they don't, eye, they don't have eyes, they won't see it. That's, not, that's their problem. But you are living an intense and profound life. That's what matters to you. If you understand this, and if you bring this to your life, insecurity will not happen. Because security can happen within that. Yes or no? People keep asking that, please, bless us. Nothing should happen to us. What kind of blessing is that? My blessing would be, let everything happen to you. Everything that's life must happen to you. Have you come here to avoid life? Or have you come here to experience life? You must make the decision right now. Have you come to avoid life? Experience life? What? Between those two. All the different dimensions between what this life holds must happen to you if you come to avoid life. Will the ocean bite you? You can jump into ocean. If you want to avoid life, you must die. The more efficient of doing things, isn't it? You are alive and try to avoid life and become miserable. If you feel insecure, that's what you will do. You will try to avoid life. If you are alive and try to avoid life, it will cause immense misery. When you are alive, you live. When you die, you die. Don't get up from the dead.